This video is the first video of a number of videos that will outline some of the key steps for accreditation at Proficient. This is step one, which really is just about selecting your pieces of evidence to help you to satisfy accreditation at Proficient. It's important that you select pieces of evidence that represent your practice over a period of one to two years. In total, you will only need five to eight pieces of evidence. And this evidence should be a snapshot of your teaching practice. So you don't need to submit everything. You just need to find those strong pieces of evidence that are going to help you to satisfy a range of standard descriptors. It's important to note that the total accreditation submission, which includes your annotated evidence and the eight page supervised report, must not exceed 35 pages. There is also a file size limit of 20 megabytes for the supervised report and the annotated evidence. This could be an issue for someone that's submitting a document that's been completed online and has a number of rich images within it that can make the file size a little bit larger. An important tip or helpful tip here is that if you allocate yourself a folder or plastic sleeve, you can store some evidence inside there as you go. And then when the time comes, you can start assessing which pieces of evidence are best to suit your needs. Some of the evidence items that you could collect are lesson plans uh, and lesson observations, units of work, assessment tasks with a student sample and feedback attached, the professional learning plan, records of any professional learning that you do, and student reports. Now it's important to note at this point that a lesson plan to accompany your lesson observation is, is a mandatory piece of evidence as well as a reflection of that lesson plan. So that is mandatory, you must include that as a piece of evidence. You may also include any professional reading that you've done along with a reflection, collaborative planning notes from your KLA or PLC, notes from meetings with your supervising teacher, documentation of classroom and behaviour management strategies, and an excursion risk management could help you to satisfy descriptors around student welfare and legislative requirements. In summing up, it's important that you collect a range of evidence types and keep them in a place that is accessible. Be prepared to narrow down your evidence to between five to eight pieces of evidence and select only those that best represent your practice and the standard descriptors that you would like to satisfy. Please be sure to tune in to the following videos that outline the key steps for accreditation at Proficient. Thank you very much for listening.